Welcome back, everybody. Here to show us how to throw an epic apple picking party that the kids will love this fall is lifestyle expert Natalie Thomas. Welcome, Natalie. Thank so you. Thank you. Here. Thank you. Now, your blog is super cool, and I have to say it's the most unique blog I've ever seen online because you make it interactive for us, for the, the readers and the viewers. Thank you. Yeah, so it's based on my favorite books as a kid, which were the Choose Your Own Adventure books. So cool. So my readers choose how I decorate my home, to what trip I go on, to what party I plan. And these days, it's there's a real in-real-life element to it because I do a lot of it on Instagram. Yeah and on Instagram stories. So I just went to a wedding and they chose what outfit I wore to the wedding in Seattle that I went They to. even choose what books you read. I yes. mean, it's yes. really cool yeah. because it's almost like we get to tell you like how we would like to live the day. Absolutely, it's Every, really everyone neat. gets to be part of the process. Yeah, it's, really it's fun. very fun. Yeah. So when we knew you were coming here, we decided that we would like you to plan an apple picking party for us. So first of all, what is the key to, to throwing an epic party for the kids? Yes, yeah, so we throw tons of kids parties at Nat's Next Adventure. And I always break it down regardless of the holiday or the occasion. I break it down into three simple main categories. Okay. Activities. All right. Food okay. and favors because right. my daughter loves a door prize. Who doesn't like Who to go doesn't? home with a gift? Everybody wants a goodie bag. Everybody wants a goodie bag. So we're going to start with the activities. All right. So this activity is you've taken a classic and you've sort of turned it on its head a little bit. Yes. It's a tic-tac-toe but with apples. Exactly. And okay. the thing I love most about this is that it can carry you through the seasons. So okay. once you've made the board, which is only a couple of dollars, and you'll be able to tell it's super simple to do. Okay. Uh, you can do, you know, right now we're doing apples, but for Halloween you can do pumpkins and gourds. Yes. For the holidays you can do jingle bells and Christmas oh ornaments. My gosh. For Easter you can do different colored eggs. Oh, it's, how cute. Yeah, and the kids really love picking their pieces for each season. Okay, so we start with a yes. board. How big should our board be? So this is 24 by 24. You can get 30 by 30. You just want to make sure that it's there's space enough to house the apples. Okay. And you go to your lumber store. Um, most of them have pre-cut. It already had them in different sizes for me, and I just picked one up. Okay. If they don't, you can have them cut it for you. Perfect. Super simple. All right, and then you paint it white? You can leave it natural if you want. I chose with the color scheme to paint it white. I so like it. we paint it white, we wait for it to dry. And then my daughter and I last year just did, um, we painted it freeform. So she just went at it with the lines. Oh, how nice. A little that's risky, but that's not cute. foolproof, but cute. Yeah. If yeah. you want it to be a little bit more polished and streamlined, or okay. you want to be able to start back over again, All you right. can simply use this painter's tape. It's just basically tic tac toe. You need yes. some apples. Yep, exactly. Red All and right. green apples, so easy. I hate to tell you, but I just oh. won, Natalie. Sorry about that. Now tell Tee me about the, that one. <laughs> <laughs> tell me about so, the apple wand. Yes, These so are really be cute. quickly before we get to the apple wand, okay. more games. I like to have, because I don't know if your daughter's like mine, but she's a five minute attention span for mm, everything. Yes. We gotta keep them moving. I think it's the age. Yes, yes. Yeah. So we've gotta keep lots of activities there and games there. So I put board games at different stations throughout the party. Okay. This I love in particular because it's made by Pinhole Press and they customize the old school memory game with your images. So you send so them I, your photos. So I send them my photos. Whoa. It's so easy. And I send oh, them photos awesome. from, you know, apple picking at the farm and the party we threw last year with our friends. I found a match. So they got to relive their actual memory while they're playing it. Natalie, again, I'm winning this game as well. I don't know what to tell you, but I'm <laughs> I've doing, teed you up nicely. I'm doing pretty you know, well here, player. Natalie. Yeah. Look at that. There you go. Wow. All right. Now Your these pro. apple wands, yes. which I think are so cute. As soon as I walked out here and I saw this table, I thought Alexandra would love yes, these. Yes. My daughter Lily Look helped me that. make all these. They're and so, so cute. you may not think of a book at a party for kids, but I've found, particularly for my daughter who tends to get overstimulated sometimes, yeah. to have books in the corner, she can go pick them up and read herself. But also, there comes a point in every party with kids that there's, it's a, reached a fever pitch. <laughs> the inmates have overtaken the prison. 100%. And you need to rein them back in. Yes, they need to be wrangled. So, yes. Somebody's screaming, somebody's crying. Exactly. It's, right, it's a, a lot. A mini story hour <laughs> is a great way to do that. So you gather them around, you read a story, and I love this one in particular because then there's a craft that you can do with it and everyone can make their own wands. So is there a craft in the book? There's not. I or just, you just connect yes, it to it because just, she has a wand. Yes, I just saw the wand and decided to, why not make, that's perfect. So, so you could basically use any book and just kind of exactly. whatever, exactly. if they have whatever. A pirate book, you sure. can make a pirate ship. Or, or make you know, like a, a patch. Yeah. Or, yeah. Oh, how cute. Exactly. And these are just cutouts. So I, I went on, if it's on Nat's Next Adventure, anyone can do it because I, despite what it looks like, I am not a Pinterest mom. Uh, so it has to be foolproof. So I printed out an image of an apple, cut it out, traced it. You do need to make it on firm paper. So this is poster board or you could okay. use cardstock right. so it holds up. Okay. And then throw down some stickers and some glitter and some googly eyes. And let them be creative. Ribbons. And, and markers. Yep. And you glue it to these dowels 
and they've oh, got their own wand. And kids love anything on a stick. A yeah, salon, they really do. A wand. They do. Oh, Nat, what yes. a great idea. Yeah. Now, this one I know 150% Alexandra would love. She loves to bake with me. She loves to cook yes. with me. She And if it's if it has to do with cakes and pies, she's going to like it even more. For I sure. love the idea of having like an apple pie making station. Yes, and it's fun to do. Not only do they make such cute place settings, it's and then so they get true. to go home with these as well, but you're coming from the farm and you are getting to actually the things you've picked, you've taken off, you know, that you see where it came from. Right. Then you get to help make it. So the kids help you wash it and peel it and cut it, add the sugar, add the butter, stir it. You can, I, last year for our party, I made the dough the night before and put it in the fridge. Sure. And sectioned it off into individual servings. And Great then idea. Before we left for the farm, took it out, let it come up to room temperature. When we got home, it was good to go. We threw some flour down. The messier, the better. They get yep. to roll it out, but no judgment here. Right. I use store-bought dough 95% of the time. That's okay. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> so either way you're going to do it, they don't care. Yeah. They get to make the mess. They get to be part of the process. They roll it out. They use their little cookie cutters for the toppings. So cute. And this is like the little goodie bag you were talking exactly. about. They get to go they home, home and home bake it. Extra stuff. So then they, it goes in the oven. They go back to their activities. They come and they get to you serve it with some ice cream. They get to eat what they've actually picked and made. So mind-blowing for them. And then you send them home with the leftovers in a cute little box. And the tag that says, you know, thank you for coming, Lily, is an apple patch that the kids can put on their clothing, their backpack, their shoes. Stop it. Yes. Nat, I feel like you need to be like a, a teacher. I really do. I know your mom it's in my, a It's in my blood. My mom, my sister. Yes, it's in the this blood. This is amazing. Thank you. Wow. I wish I had teachers like you growing up. Thank you so much, Nat. Thank this you. is the coolest thing ever. For more information on Natalie, you can visit natsnextadventure.com, and you can tell her what to do next.